was a 10 horsepower speed air air compressor. Uh, this unit does have a two stage compressor on it. Um, currently it is wired 440. It can also be wired 220. If you do want to wire this unit 220, the starter inside this box, you have to change the coil for the starter over to 220. Otherwise you will burn up the coil on the starter and it will avoid any warranty that you have with us. <clears throat> this unit is set to turn off at 175 and it's set to come back on at 145. That's the that's where they had it at the place it came from. Um, another thing with this unit, when you get it, there will be absolutely no oil in this unit. Make sure you put the proper speed air compressor oil in it. It's special to these compressors. All you gotta do is Google Speed Air 1WD71. It'll pop up. Uh, Granger sells it. Diversified Air Solution sells it. They, they all sell it. So make sure you get the oil, fill it up to its capacity before you run this unit. It's also marked here on the front the rotation for when you're wiring it. You want the, the pulley on the back of the compressor motor to run clockwise if you're standing right here where we're standing right now. <clears throat> so this tank's already charged. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the valve. We're going to let some air out of it uh, so the compressor will cycle. air blown off from the adjustable pressure regulator. Uh, underneath this cover, this is where you would adjust to um, to get your, uh, I'm sorry, this is where you adjust to set the pressure. For, this is where you set the pressure for your high end and on your low end where you want the compressor to come back on. Um, there's also a drain in the bottom of the tank. So if you have any water in the bottom, you can drain any water out of your tank. This is our 10 horsepower speed air vertical air compressor. 